Good morning. Today's Mass is offered for Kevin McDonald. Kindly join in the entrance antiphon, which may be found on page 811 of the Missals. The just will flourish like the palm tree and grow like a Lebanon cedar, planted in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the peace and joy of their spirit be always with you. My brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate well these sacred mysteries in a moment of humility before God and one another, let us acknowledge our sinfulness and ask God for pardon and for peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us all of our sins and bring us together one day unto life everlasting. Let us pray. O God, who brought the abbot, St. Anthony, to serve you by a wondrous way of life in the desert, Grant that his intercession, that denying ourselves, we may always love you above all things. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Samuel. David spoke to Saul. Let your majesty not lose courage. I am at your service to go and fight this Philistine. But Saul answered David, You cannot go up against this Philistine and fight with him, for you are only a youth while he has been a warrior from his youth. David continued, The Lord who delivered me from the claws of the lion and the bear will also keep me safe from the clutches of this Philistine. Saul answered David, Go, the Lord will be with you. Then staff in hand, David selected five smooth stones from the wadi and put them in the pocket of his shepherd's bag. With his sling also ready to hand, he approached the Philistine. With his shield bearer marching before him, the Philistine also advanced closer and closer to David. When he had sized David up and seen that he was youthful and ruddy and handsome in appearance, the Philistine held David in contempt. The Philistine said to David, Am I a dog that you come against me with a staff? Then the Philistine cursed David by his gods and said to him, Come here to me, and I will leave your flesh for the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. David answered him, You come against me with sword and spear and scimitar, but I come against you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel that you have insulted. Today the Lord shall deliver you into my hand, I will strike you down and cut off your head. This very day I will leave your corpse and the corpses of the Philistine army for the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. Thus the whole land shall learn that Israel has a God. All this multitude too shall learn that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves. For the battle is the Lord's, and he shall deliver you into our hands. The Philistine then moved to meet David at close quarters, while David ran quickly toward the battle line 
in the direction of the Philistine. David put his hand into the bag and took out a stone, hurled it with the sling and struck the Philistine on the forehead. The stone embedded itself in his brow and he fell prostrate on the ground. Thus David overcame the Philistine with sling and stone. He struck the Philistine mortally and did it without a sword. Then David ran and stood over him with the Philistine's own sword, which he drew from his, its sheath. He dispatched him and cut off his head. The word of the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. My refuge and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust, who subdues my people under me. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. O oh God, I will sing a new song to you. With a ten-stringed lyre, I will chant your praise. You who give victory to kings and deliver David, your servant from the evil sword, blessed be the Lord, my rock. Alleluia. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Jesus entered the synagogue. There was a man there who had a withered hand. They watched Jesus closely to see if he would cure him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. He said to the man with the withered hand, come up here before us. Then he said to the Pharisees, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it? But they remained silent, looking around at them with anger and grieved at their hardness of heart. Jesus said to the man, stretch out your hand. He stretched it out and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately took counsel with the Herodians against him to put him to death. Rejoice, for this is good news, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Well, we had a, a tragedy of real epic uh, proportions uh, happen at the uh, the rectory last week, um, uh, my cable TV went out. <laughs> and uh, so I called the, the company and they came and uh, the fellow who came said, uh, the problem was is that the wire that was coming from the street was uh, crunched, it was crinkled. And um, well, anyway, so he, he, uh, he said, I'll, I'll, I just had to straighten it out and kind of reassure it. Why do I mention this? I mean, the, the cable was crunched, so the signal for the table, cable TV couldn't flow. This is really the point in the, the, the uh, reading, the first reading we have this morning with regards to this battle that's going on. You notice that towards the end of the reading, it says to us that God is the one who's in the battle. And then the opening a prayer of our Mass today, it says, it asks us, it, it asks God to help us to love God above all things. Why is this? Why is that so important to let God guide us in the battle? Why is it so important to love God above all things? Because if we don't love God above all things, 
nothing else in our life can come across clearly. It's, it's when we love God above all things, that's when the cable between us and God is fully uh, flattened out, if you will. The, the, the signal from God to us can flow. It's when we don't put God above all things, then we can become confused about how to love. Then we can come, become confused about how God cares for us. Then we can become confused and not even recognize as the Pharisees here in today's gospel, not even recognize what the good thing is to do when it's right in front of us. This man who had a great need, they couldn't see that God would want the man's hurt to be healed. Something was crinkled in their heart. Something, someplace along the line, got crinkled in their soul. So they couldn't even respond out of human compassion, let alone godly love and care. This, so the, it's, it's good then from time to time to be able to stop and to say, do I have my priorities right? That God wants me to love him above all things. Because when I can do that, then that connection between me and God, my heart and God's heart, is flowing so easily and strongly that then I can love my wife as my wife deserves. I can love my husband as my love as my husband deserves. I can love my daughters and my sons. I can give hope to the person who is ill or sick because God is the source of the hope that I share. God is the source of the love that I give to my family. The cable was crinkled so the signal couldn't get through fully. Husbands and wives, sons and daughters, our co-workers and friends need, they deserve, a full flowing love from God to our hearts and then to theirs. Would you stand with me please and offer to the Lord some of the needs that gather us this morning. For the church, for holy women and men who serve the body of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all nations, for those who work for justice and peace in the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who seek holiness, for all who suffer, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who are sick, injured, or disabled, and for their caregivers, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all of us gathered in this holy place, surrounded by our ancestors in the faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for Kevin McDonald, for whom this Mass is offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Gracious and loving God, we ask you to listen to the prayers which we have voiced. We ask you to watch over and keep all in safety those who have traveled this day, for all those that are working to make the roadways a safe place, for all those who will find it hard to stay warm this day. We ask you to gather all of these prayers and our petitions to your heart, and if they be for your honor, for our good, that you grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for it is through your goodness that we have this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for it is through your goodness that we have this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Would you pray with me that this, our sacrifice, yours and mine, might be acceptable to God, the Father, the Almighty? May these offerings of our service be placed on your altar in commemoration of St. Anthony and be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray and grant that, released from earthly attachments, we may have our riches in you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are pleased in the company of your saints, and in your crowning their merits, you crown your own gift. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may be victors who run the race with you. And so with angels and archangels, with a great multitude of saints, we acclaim your glory. Holy, 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 holy is the Lord, and our God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and confess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, this life giving bread, this chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. 
have mercy on us all, we pray, that together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her faithful spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who are pleased to do your will throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor are yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Kindly join in the communion antiphon found on page 811 of the Missals. If you would be perfect, go, sell what you have, give to the poor, and follow me, says the Lord.
nourished by your healing of this sacrament, O Lord. May we escape every snare of the enemy unharmed, just as by your grace St. Anthony won glorious victories over the powers of darkness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has ended. Let us go down to live it in peace and in joy. Amen. Thanks for coming out this morning. I appreciate that. Uh, so Jake and I had a bet how many people were going to be here this morning. So... Uh, he won, unfortunately, so he gets a little more kibble today. But thanks very much. Have a great day.